Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Northy and today we are looking into the Harkles reaction to the Golden Globes. So the Golden Globes has just happened Sunday and today is January the 8th. So we're going to look into how the Harkles reacted to the apparent shade that was thrown at them by the Golden Globes host and also Megzi's suits Alamata were on the Golden Globes carpet and they said that she wasn't in the group chat with them so we'll see if anything comes out in the cards we're going to start with Harry because Harry got roasted by the guy at the Golden Globes he made a comment saying Amelia Staunton's portrayal of the Queen was so good in the crown Prince Harry phoned her and asked her for money I mean, okay, let's have a look and see what that's about. But before I begin, if you're new, please subscribe. And also, if everyone can like, share, share my work around, it helps more people find the channel. It helps me grow. So I really appreciate that. And also, we're doing a competition. Um, we've got a St. Johnny Thompson prayer candle to give away. I make them myself. They're just a bit of fun, a bit tongue in cheek. Um, so once we hit 9,000 subscribers, hopefully at some point this year, I will be giving away three of these in a prize draw in live stream. So yeah, um, there's a link down below to all my socials. Everything you need to know is in the comments and the details of the giveaway as well. So without further ado and without taking up any of your precious time let's have a look and see how harry reacted to that jibe now i'm using the garbage pail kids um tarot this really works for harry it seems to get out real kind of a harry energy is he gonna be annoyed is he gonna be vexed is he just defeated what what is going on with harry with regards to the golden globes and then we're going to have a look into Megzi's energy. So stay tuned for that. So let's have a look. How is Harry feeling about the Golden Globes? Oh, if you're new, I work in um, Celtic Cross Spread. I'll do a layer for Harry. And then I'll do another, use a different deck and use a layer for Megan. And then we see if there's any repeating cards, any similarities. Um, it helps us work out going on so yeah let's have a look okay let's see knight of swords okay so harry is more concerned about his army role it seems i've got another reading coming out later about that some news just broke last night so the energy around harry is he is more focused on his army role the knight of swords is the uniform services as well as being a can mean a younger assigned to aquarius libra or gemini but straight away dumpf, he is thinking back to the army. So that's interesting. Put a pin in that. Ten of Cups crossing over and it's in reverse. He is feeling a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure around a mirage he is having to put up to the world or he feels he has to put up to the world. He's it's definitely an unhappy home right now in Monty Shit Show Towers. I'm just saying the Ten of Cups is in reverse. They want to put on a mirage of a happy home. So that leads me to think that they are going to be trying to merge themselves maybe as a family unit. But he's definitely having some issues trying to keep a happy home together. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles above, it's the typical Mexic card. And he's really feeling on the outside. 
he's feeling completely on the outside. He is feeling quite isolated. I would suggest he's feeling quite sorry for himself as well. He doesn't feel included. Now, that's definitely on the outside in Hollywood, that's for sure. But even Orca was at the Golden Globes last night with her with her new with her dramatic weight loss. But the five of pentacles feeling on the outside impoverished. What see what's underneath him? Seven of Wands. He wants to retaliate. He really wants to retaliate. This veneer of a happy home life, this new brand they're doing, he's finding it very difficult. I think when I, I did a reading on a live stream last night and I was like, Megan was really conflicted as well. So I think they are being told to keep stum for once and mind their own business. But still, the gags keep coming in all the time i feel like with the five of pentacles as well we've got the netflix guy there was a joke about netflix and um them doing no work and the next netflix ceo was in the audience and the camera panned to him so maybe there is more kind of failure coming out with netflix ages ago ages ago I predicted that the netflix contract would end and that is still yet to pan out. But it could be coming sooner than we think. Eight of Wands. So there was a lot of moving energy before this. Maybe they tried to get into the Glo Golden Globes. There's a lot of um, messages going backwards and forwards. Interesting very interesting so there was a busy period i know they've been radio silent but there has been a, a very busy period along with the golden globes okay king of wands coming up ace of wands in reverse ten of swords okay so he feels like he's been stabbed in the front he feels like he's been betrayed now, this could lead into the army stuff as well, but we're going to have a look at that in a separate reading. Um, the Ace of Wands in reverse. He is frustrated, angry, and he feels like he's being blocked. He wants to retaliate. He wants to get out there and just go, bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, it may come. You know how they like to bide their time. So we might be getting some kind of podcast, some kind of thing of just saying how cruelly everybody's treated them and all that kind of stuff. But he is very frustrated with his lot at the minute. Interesting. Queen of Wands is in reverse. One, The Queen of Wands is Megan. Now, Megan, the reason she is Queen of Wands is it's her, it's her star sign. Wands relates to fire signs. Megan is a fire sign. She is a Leo. So he is concerned about reputational tarnage onto his wife. He, this is the part of the spread where it's the concerns. He is concerned about reputational damage to his wife. Now, for what's coming up next, we have the King of Wands. So we might be hearing a rebuttal come from either Scabies or that weird photographer guy, because he's a Sagittarius actually. And that would fit into a fire sign King of Wands. We may be hearing something like an attack or somebody kind of like comes out strong on arm, arm in for them saying, oh no, they're just a young couple, young, they're both middle-aged now. Two, the couple recollections may vary very soon about that. <laughs> um, but they are just, yeah. And then the Seven of Cups, we're going back to Harkle Vision. We are going to go into a kind of a rinse and repeat cycle um, about Harry's how there's going to be a lot of disinformation coming up. That's nothing new. The Seven of Cups, there's a lot of choices, a lot of um, big events. Now, classically in the tarot, the cups are filled with 
images from the major arcana. So there is going to be a dis the usual disinformation service. The public will be told lots and lots of puff pieces all at once. So there'll be like Meghan and Harry's organic chickens celebrate a milestone. Archie said the sweetest thing. Da 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 da. We're going to get a lot of puff pieces coming up. Interesting that the King of Wands has come onto the spread, though. Um, that could be Darkus Anderson. It could be. He definitely has Wands energy. Um, let's have a look and see. It could be Auntie Elton. He is an Aries, so that would fit the King of Wands energy there. But we are going to see some kind of statement or pushback somehow. I feel about the Golden Globes. Let's have a look and see how Megan feels about the Golden Globes. I'm using the Barbara Walker Tarot for Megzi. So let's have a look. Seven of Wands, we have a repeater straight away. She wants to go on the attack and say she's on the defense. The Seven of Wands, when it's in reverse, it's uh, you're going on the attack as a defensive mechanism in your head, but you are. It's it's it, it's an inversion. You feel like you're attacking without really kind of justification in a way, but she feels really frustrated. She feels like everyone is against her. Everyone is conspiring against her, and she wants to lash out. What's crossing over her? The Nine of Cups. A big party that you were not in. <laughs> NFI. <laughs> she wasn't invited. That Nine of Cups could well mean that she wants everyone to presume that they're living their best life. Harry has the Ten of Cups, so he feels like he's got to kind of like perform to this veneer of happiness of respectability yada 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 the nine of cups crossing over this is definitely megzy kind of like not invited to the party she's probably wanting to get another one the high priestess is above and the nine of pentacles in reverse she wants to be invited to the party she wants to be affluent and wonderful but she's very nine of pentacles in reverse that reminds me of her when they took that awful photo in the garden black and white over zoom or whatever it was with that award-winning photographer whatever he's called that dude yeah you know who i mean the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's a saying, all for a coat and no knickers. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles, when it's upright, it's an affluent woman, a very affluent woman. And they're very composed, very all together. Think Catherine. Think Catherine. When it's in reverse, she is the opposite of Catherine. She is disliked. People think she's a social climber. She is not happy with her public image, which ties into how Harry worries. Card, it, she is not happy with her public image at all. Now, the Popess is there. Um, that's the High Priestess in usual tarot. And I've been saying it for a while like I think she might do something spiritual whether that's either spiritual light like yoga or crystals or something um, but yeah the ten of pentacles leaving the situation I feel this could be them almost trying to blame the royal family for this but the guy took stabs at jabs at the royal family how can this be the royal family's fault because that's leaving the situation the hermit now the hermit is a virgo that's what's coming up next 
and Harry is a Virgo. Of course, this could be Doris, the mother. But there is a Virgo coming up. I wonder what kind of crystal thing Megsy could do. Could she like get a clear quartz, hold it for five minutes and turn it into like some kind of like grimy dark crystal with all the negative energy? Uh. <clears throat> Who she blames for this? Like I said, the royal family. We have the Hierophant in reverse. So somehow this is, of course, this is the royal family's fault. Yeah, she really kind of blames the royals for everything. Um, it's not the people in Hollywood, it's not the American people, it is the royal family's fault for all of this noise at the Golden Globes against her. What's surrounding her, this is another one that I always think of, I think of the wedding. Now, Harry is having trouble with his relationship. You can see that for sure. He's concerned about Megsy. She is... And what I mean by that photo, it looks like that photo when they're having the photo taken at the fireworks and you just see their silhouettes and the fireworks going on, the wedding party. Sorry, I should have explained that. Um, she's very, I would, I would say, she's wanting for appearances to seem closer to harry now i think harry is attached to her like a barnacle and i think megsy checked out the relationship i would say pre the netflix show so sometime sometime around the cut interview she's kind of done with him but she needs him for collateral she needs him for clout she needs him for a story something to sell and of course she th still thinks that she can get the princess diana kind of stamp of approval if she keeps going what she's hoping for six of pentacles so she wants some benevolence. She wants to be seen like as this almost this like charity working person. She really wants that. And the three of pentacles, of course, potentially from all of this fallout, all of this noise, there is potentially some kind of deal to be done. Now, they do run an industrial grievance complex. So it could well be that. This could be Harry. This could be Doris coming out and saying something. I do feel like she's concerned about secrets. I really do. She really is concerned about people talking. So maybe that's a relation to the people suits cast on the um, on the red carpet when they gave an interview. So there's a lot going on in these cards. I feel like Harry is more concerned with another reading I'm about to do, which is the, what you call it, about a book about Sandhurst that he doesn't feature in, but William wrote the foreword for. Um, we are gonna hear something. I don't know if Doris is gonna appear, like a kind of like really rubbish Pokemon. <laughs> Near a back grid photographer um, or Harry. They're the two Virgos that surround Megsy. So we shall find out in due course. Let me know what you think of this reading. If you've made it this far, leave me a gold coin for the Golden Globes in the comments. Um, it helps me know who's who's reached it to the end. Um, thank you very much for all your support. Please share my content about. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you really soon for another reading.
Bye everyone.